grouse in the tree out there eating the new buds here right outside of the, the tiny house. Right there. Grouse in the tree. All right, here we have one of our old stone walls. It goes back, runs back, way back through the woods back in that way. And uh, we have these all over the property. It's very interesting. I know um, a lot of the European settlers would build these uh, stone walls for livestock or whatever else. They'd clear the fields of big rocks and they would uh, you know, make these stone walls like this. It's really an interesting thing here in uh, New England. And I'll show you here where this one goes. You can see there's kind of a, see how the wall ends right there. And then there's like a lane that went this way at one point in time. And over here, the wall starts again. Uh, but we have, this isn't one of the bigger walls on our property. The whole uh, border of our property actually to the north facing the road is the big stone wall. The logging practices on this property were terrible. That's why we have these huge, you know, groves of little tiny aspen trees or popple, whatever you want to call it. You can call it either one, but kind of weird. Here, let me get out here to the main road. On our property, that is not really a road or trail. But again, you can see right here's the, the stone wall. It continues that way. It goes this way. It's covered over pretty good. But there's that. And then here you can definitely see the, the stone wall going back through there like that. Very interesting. I have no idea how old this is, how old these walls are, but they're all over the property here. Um, at first I saw a few of them and I just kind of thought, oh, okay, you know, and, and uh, didn't think much of it, just thought it was a pile of rocks. And then one of the neighbors I was talking to, he you know, was had been hunting here on this property for many years and he said, oh no, he said, there's rock walls all over the property. So they go all over the place and they do. So. I'll show you another one here. All right, here we have another stone wall. You can just see it in there. And this one goes up along this trail here, kind of continues up along. And uh, again, a very interesting. And it leads to something which is rather unique, which I will show here in a few minutes. But, uh, and you can see some of the rocks over there. They're really grown over, but that's not uh, natural there. Those were stacked there like that. But we'll just continue heading up this trail here like that um, on our property. And I'll show you the interesting thing up here in a little bit. Here we have another part of the wall that I'm walking beside. You can see again, you have this break in the system here, this tree's down in it, but then it starts up right there again and heads that way. But uh, there was a huge big birch tree on top of the wall down, down this way a little ways that I felled a few years ago. It was dead. I wanted to take it down while there was, while there was still some good firewood in it because it was still fairly solid. And so we got a lot of firewood out of it, but just kind of says how old the thing is. You can see that remnants of that old birch tree right there on it. So I don't know how old that is, if they built the rock wall around it or if it, if the rock wall was there before that tree, I don't know, but pretty interesting. All right, here's the upper part of the rock wall. Um, right there, you can see the stump. All that's remaining of that big birch tree right over there that I felled uh, probably two or three years ago. So 
and this rock wall just continues on up this way like this and it leads to an interesting thing up there which we'll get up there and I'll show it to you all right now we walk back into the little wooded section here and I will show you the rock wall ends back behind me but then it comes over to this interesting formation right here and I don't know what this would have been maybe an old animal pen I have to be careful on this snow it's we still have some here in late April there's Luther running around and again we have this big birch tree right here and uh, you can see the rock wall that I'm standing on and it comes over this way like this and then it kind of stops here and goes over this way so see it it uh, comes over this way like this and then it goes over like that and the one that's really crazy to think about is that big rock over there if you can see that big thing over there that's a pretty big rock I don't know what that thing would weigh but it has to weigh a pretty good amount but it's a I, you can't see it real great because the trees are getting so grown up in here but it's a square that this wall over here goes over and then it comes back in through the trees this way and then it comes up and it goes that big rock there is on top of the wall so I mean I know an animal enclosure or something is probably what they would have used it for but it just is kind of uh, interesting even right here at my feet come down this way you can see there's my foot that's a pretty good sized rock right there so but we have uh, all total if you would you know look at all the different rock walls that we have there's you know miles of them on this property uh, if you total them all up I'm saying uh, very interesting and uh, I think it was the early 1800s when people settled this area white men came here to this area our deed goes back into the 1800s um, for this land so uh, is it possible for them to have done all this work well I guess probably it is and that could be it but I know in New England there's a lot of uh, strange rock walls and rock formations and everything else so um, if I ever find a some kind of rock uh, structure that uh, some kind of an underground chamber with lots of gold and things like that I'll, I'll be sure to let you know <laughs> uh, I wouldn't hold my breath though for that one but I think it would have been discovered by now but just an interesting thing I thought I'd show here I don't know if I've ever shown the actual things I've I think I've kind of mentioned them but just very interesting these old rock walls all over our property all right one other thing I want to show here um, there's an old house that used to stand on this uh, property here. I met the guy that grew up on this property. Uh, he owns a cabin down the road. But anyhow, this was the sink, the kitchen sink there. You can see it. I moved it, that's not the original spot for it. But then you come over into here and uh, there's some metal and uh, there's an old pump down in there. You can see that old pipe sticking out. So I think that there must have been, there's this hole here, and there's that concrete thing right there. So I don't know if this was some kind of rainwater, like a cistern or something. I have no idea, but there's some old sheet metal, old galvanized steel. And uh, then you get over into here, and uh, you can see some of what was left from the fire there. You have a a little jar right there there's some part of a bowl from the kitchen and this whole area is just filled with glass and pieces of metal and whatever and uh, 
I'd like to try to clean it up at some point in time, but there's some old metal there. Some old, uh, looks like shingles or something on that. I don't know what that would have been. But then you get over into here, and uh, here's the old water, hot water heater. I don't know if it's copper or what. You can just kind of see it laying there. This thing. You can see my foot's on it. But right there, there's that. And, uh, but from what I understand, it was basically uh, 1962 is when this place burned to the ground. And he said that his mother was just so upset, she just said, we just need to move. I don't want to even rebuild on the land. And um, there's a little bowl right there. And so the charred remains of the house were just left here. And there's still little remnants here and there. There's a broken old you know, glass jug there. So very interesting. But um, sometime I'm going to try to clean this up. Maybe take the metal detector through here. See if I can find anything that's valuable. Because if it burned in 1962, then uh, 1964 is when the last silver coins were made here in America. So if I find a dime or a quarter or a half dollar or a dollar, it would all be silver, which would be interesting. So just kind of a neat thing there, another part about our property. I'm gonna walk over and show you one more thing. All right, now we're walking back a little trail that we have here that we made. And uh, I shot a few videos back in here. Not very many, but a few. And uh, just going back through the different trees back through here, maple trees and spruce trees and balsam fir. We have a lot of balsam fir on the property, which are a very good tree. They have uh, healing properties to them. The sap is very good for healing. You get back into the wooded areas like this and it takes a long time for the snow to melt because it just stays nice and cool under the shade of the trees. But anyhow, here's another rock wall. Another one of them. You can see some of the rocks there. And you can see how this is a pretty big one actually. And again, just curious as to if this is... Um, I'm just clearing the fields. That'd be a job. All these rocks. You know, wow, that'd be a lot of work. Or were these things here before they showed up? Or I have no idea. Very interesting. I know that they talk about the mound builders and things. I've heard some stuff about that. And uh, trying to take it easy here so I don't fall. Some of these are a little hard to balance on. Because they're smaller, they don't stay put, they end up shifting. But there's a maple tree right there coming out of it. But this goes way down that way, really far down that way. And then you spin around and, uh, and it goes down that way very far too. And then it intersects and goes over that way. And there's just so many different, uh, you know, big rock walls like this. And, you know, there's another big rock right there. So I have no idea. Just uh, I enjoy the rock walls, but I just wish I knew more history about them. So, okay, I think that'll be it for the video. Just wanted to show these. And uh, thank you very much for watching. And uh, we'll see you in upcoming videos.